Of course it is St. Patrick's Day this weekend, and there are so many great restaurants, but none better than the one we have here today. Check it out, St. Patty's Day, Irish cuisine, a nice pint to put down. Dermot Cowley owns a few Irish pubs in town, including McKinney Road downtown, but you also have Jake O'Connor's, you have uh, Lola's, correct? Yes. And uh, you, this is a huge weekend for you, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. busy, busy. Uh, we were, it's, uh, it started uh, early yesterday morning, and it'll go... <laughs> Maybe Monday, <laughs> Monday morning I'll, uh, I'll be getting some shit. I was going to say, you'll yeah. sleep then, right? Yes, yes. So tell me about the, you've changed your menu at the downtown location. Yes, so yeah. McKinney Row, we started a little different, and uh, we've had uh, Jake O'Connor's in Excelsior now mm -hmm. for 13 years, and uh, it's been so well received out there. We weren't connecting with the neighborhood at night. Okay. Uh, yet we'd have, you know, huge reservations on special occasion mm -hmm. nights. And so I think people were thinking of us as special occasion yeah. type place. I and mean, that's not what we want it to be. And you have a beautiful space there, too. It is. Uh, I am biased, of course, yeah. but I think it's beautiful. <laughs> so it's a, it is a very beautiful pub. And you want people to know that they can come there at night, too. Absolutely. You yeah. see the Irish flags flying there. And uh, it is uh, where McKinney Row Irish Pub. And yeah. uh, everybody knows around the world what to expect when they walk in. So it's a warm greet and a good pint of Guinness. All right. Are we and, pouring? Uh, and lots of, uh, lots great, of whiskey. Great food and great whiskeys. All right. Now, the proper, tell me the proper way, because I was taught to tilt just slightly. Yes. You, okay, so you so tilt right. a little. Uh, like that. It, it's a little tougher with to do the great pours out of the cans uh, sometimes there's a little too many bubbles and but tilt uh, it just at the end like and that just, and then uh, see this is how i got through college i mean this go. is uh, i've just done this for the first time cheers cheers and then sir you're, you're supposed to let it settle and uh you know we, then we have to take, take a sip don't take a take a good sip oh, cheers. Tell, she's telling me not to drink it yet why not okay oh. We have to let it settle. So okay. tell me about what's on the so menu. So here's a couple of the staples that are on the menu at O'Donovan's, mm -hmm. Jake O'Connor's, and McKinney Row every day. Uh, our chicken pot pie, which is mm. to die for. Look at that. A uh, thick mounded corned beef on a pretzel roll with the whole grain mustard and sweet pickled onions. Do you do the corned beef all there? or We do, do it all oh, in wow, house. Okay. And it, it's a, we do a kind of a special spice uh, recipe okay. uh, that not many people do. But the secret is time. Time. 72 hours. Wow. Yeah, so uh, before, from we start prepping it to it goes on your plate. Wow. Is, uh, so it is soft and tender. Hours. It is uh, juicy it is. and flavorful. And then the traditional corned beef and cabbage, uh, which is uh, so popular. It's mm -hmm. so good, so tasty. But it's not what we w I would have grown up at no. with in Ireland. Why we, not? What did you have? We had boiled bacon and cabbage. Boiled bacon and yes. cabbage. Yeah, but uh, the corned beef became too. an... It is. It, it's a saltier <laughs> dish. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then they used to cut it with a white sauce. But uh, this is a... Uh, the corned beef... Uh, originated with the Irish mm -hmm. in America when they immigrated first. They were very poor. This was the cheapest cut of meat yeah, you could yeah. get back then and could cure it with salt. And it became the staple, and it is absolutely delicious. That's often the way, right? So, the stuff that yeah. you get your hands on becomes a delicacy yes, later on. Yes, absolutely. Right. So it is uh, absolutely fantastic. Tell so, us about some of the events you have going on this weekend. So we have live music. Uh, I, we already started the party uh, this morning out <laughs> at uh, Jake O'Connor. The band went on at 10 a.m., wow. uh, or it's got to be close to it now. So, Pretty uh, close. We're yeah, getting there. We're getting there. You don't even know what time I it is anymore. I don't know. I'm, I'm, just, uh, I'm, I'm walking asleep. So it's, uh, it's uh, great, though. So it'll be... Uh, Live music all weekend, bagpipers coming through periodically. Every later tonight at O'Donovan's bagpipers, I know are scheduled at 7.30, but it's hard to get those guys on, okay. a, on a tight schedule. So they just show up when they, and if you ever know, a bagpiper walks in the room, it just it kind of, it's like partying at the Red Sea. And is there a cover to get in tonight? <laughs> no, no, we cover. don't, no cover. All so right. come on down and uh, to Cheers. all of you consider yourselves invited. Wonderful. You got it. I got a fork. Right. It now we can so drink. Good. McKinney Road, by the way, located there in the shadows go. of U.S. Bank Stadium on 4th Street in Minneapolis. We have a link uh, with details Linda. about tomorrow's St. Okay. Patrick's Day Thank celebration you. on carelove.com. Cheers. Cheers. We'll Cheers. Be right back. Mm. Man, look at this corned beef. Good stuff. Yum. Bob's got the corned beef.